watching astronauts in space has always made us really jealous. Just think of all the weird things that happen in weightlessness and all the demonstrations we could do. Going into space is a little out of our league, but luckily you can recreate a near weightless environment right here on Earth. Reduced gravity aircraft have been used by space agencies since the 1950s. Astronauts for NASA's first space program Mercury trained in such planes, as did all the astronauts that followed. To simulate the sensation of weightlessness, the plane needs to follow a parabolic flight path. It pitches its nose up and using its thrust and elevator control starts ascending. By then reducing thrust and lowering the nose, the plane is put into free fall and weightlessness kicks in. This lasts until the nose gets pulled up again and the entire maneuver can be repeated again. During training, astronauts get around 20 seconds of weightlessness for each parabola in this manner, and often go through 40 to 60 parabolas per flight. No wonder then that a full one-third of the passengers become violently ill during this, which has earned these types of plane the nickname the Vomit Comet. 